Hey, I know about the wind and sometimes the wind will be a problem today. Not so much tonight. The winds die down. What happens is you get a little inversion. Winds kind of move up above the ground and then during the daytime the winds aloft come down towards the surface and tomorrow we'll see these winds pick up across Millard, uh, Beaver County and Iron County. Pretty heavy winds it looks like between Nephi and I-70 Cove Fort. With the wind comes the heat. Now these are advisories including Juab and Millard as well as uh, Beaver and Iron Counties and much of eastern Utah, but these heat warnings right here, St. George, Lake Powell, ugh, very hot to the point where you could have heat stroke. So please wear lightweight, light colored clothing, go out in the cooler part of the day, make sure that you have plenty of water to drink. That's what you need more than soda pop or alcohol. Water is the best thing for the body and it's double nines right now in St. George and going up. In Salt Lake City, it's 96 already at the noon hour. Where are we going to end up today? It's going to go over 100. 90, 85, but that's the Provo Airport near Utah Lake. On the hillside, it's closer to 94 at Provo BYU. Most, most areas, 90s, some upper 80s. Here's where these little disturbances are going to move, be moving along today. His, this is a, a little bit of tropical moisture, heating of the day pop and drop showers from about Salt Lake City south to the Grand Staircase Escalante. Those will diminish overnight and then they return tomorrow, maybe a little farther to the north. None of these are heavy, but they will pop up here and there. If you're going into the mountains, be aware of that. Now along the spine of Utah eastward for both Saturday and Sunday, these showers will pop up. Uintas likely to get a couple of those showers every single day, but I'm watching an easterly wave come out of the Gulf of Mexico. Watch what happens on Monday. Ooh, Arizona is getting monsoon. Watch what happens on Tuesday. More monsoon. And then into Wednesday, some of this could creep north. The problem is we're too far north of the monsoon in northern Utah, and I have completely updated the seven day forecast to reflect this. Monsoon means cool or humid across southern Utah. No monsoon means very hot in the north. So today, over 100 degrees. Yeah. And uh, temperatures in the 80s and 90s statewide. Those thunderstorms could pot potentially be heavy, but mostly hanging around and near the mountains or moving off of the Grand State Staircase Escalante down south. Now 110 today, St. George, 109 Friday. Now the monsoon moisture starts to come in Sunday. So showers and possible thunderstorms, a high chance Monday, and I've lowered the highs to the mid 90s with a chance Tuesday, Wednesday. Now we're kind of the opposite. We see a slight chance tomorrow, but it's going to be 105. We only get 105 about once every 18 years here in Salt Lake City. So that's a gutsy forecast. Slight chance Saturday, Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're too far north of the monsoon. I have taken the 90s out because we'll just simply be downright hot.